the plan is just to maybe a little bit of sand there that's where because of the tides are sort of neither in or out they sit on that bit of sand and I was just going to give the Dunas a quick run over there on dry sand and maybe over the breaker to check out the wet sand setting Hello, my name is Evie. I am Suffolk Sifter's eldest daughter. I will be helping him metal detect. Hello, my name is Amy and I am Suffolk Sifter's youngest daughter and I will be helping him metal detect. Right, here we go. I hope you lot appreciate what I'm about to do for you. There is a, a route down to the, down the cliff to the sea, the creaky gate. But the steps were washed away about two years ago and there's been a bit of an attempt to uh, reinstate them but it's still going to be pretty tricky. I've been up and down here a few times and it's uh, a bit dodgy to get down the bottom right. This is, this is it. Uh, so, well, it's a bench what comes with the house, this is the grounds. It's a fantastic place. This is the view about 20 paces from a back door and we've got to get down there so I'll film a bit of it and I'll probably film my own demise as you can see and I'm not going to worry about getting things in shot because I've got to concentrate on not falling base over apex and sort of cut out steps here believe it or not getting back up is a lot easier than getting down this is the easy bit of the getting down we've got there something oh, a little froglet let me twiggy um you know i've had to wait until well it's about seven now i suppose seven half past for all the people to go off the beach and uh, we sort of just had a neap tide which is where there's not a lot of difference between the high tide and the low tide so that means there's sort of limited time to get on the beach because it hardly goes out and it comes back in again well, it's part of the Norfolk coast is quite susceptible to landslip as you can see there it's not uncommon to uh, have a big slide now I don't know whether you can see the holes or the gaps you can obviously this slot slips after you have a good rain uh, I mean perhaps I'm foolish to go up and down here but it saves a sort of a 20 minute trip to get around by road so bear with me it's probably gonna be very boring but you never know you might see an accident namely me going back so right back so that's the easy bit it's coming down from up there this is is more tricky this is some of the slip not necessarily last year but probably the year before there was a very decent storm and you've got to be a bit like a mountain goat he's very gusty at the moment we've had three or four days of like 31 to 33 degree C heat and now it's all dropped down to what it should be which is about 25 oh, just got to remember how to get down here now um, as you can see <laughs> some lucky blighter over there the next the next rental has got some nice steps but I can't go on them because they're private anywho what I plan on doing is there's some just a little bit of sand there, a little bit of dry sand coming on here to there and maybe over there. 
Uh, that's some reinforcing I've done to try and save a house up yonder. And because the tide's not been going out very much, people have been sitting down here. So you know my thoughts on beach detecting. I'm not a great fan of it. But I'll give it a bash just because I've got the dais. And I just want to try out the wet beach, dry beach. And as you see, a bit of dry beach. I doubt there's anything on the where the tide is now, but you never know. Yeah, you never know. He says, trying to find out where he went last time. Oh dear. Oh, that's a nice bit of wire there to catch your foot on. There's roof tiles, house, because obviously there's houses along here, believe it or not, and a lot of them have en are ended up down here due to the storms. And I'm going to be down here soon because my I'm very silly because I haven't got me mountaineering boots, I've only got me flip flops, so not ideal. So someone's about to tell me off. But anyway, survived Whew, on here. It's Although a bit wind, it's glorious. Yeah. So anyway, I'll uh, just walk up the end here, and I'm just come down here. It's just a bit of a laugh, really. Not expecting to find anything at all, but just thought I might make an interesting video. Righty, well, that's the the wet stuff, and uh, just going to go down there. Not far. It's not going to be a very long video probably longer videoing to get me down the hill um, I'm on dry beach which is debatable because I'm a little bit near the wet bit so I'm going to try and do the dry bit first uh, from what I can remember last time with 3v3.2 it was very it was noisy and the signals weren't really signals they're like phantom noises which you couldn't repeat um, so we'll just there's I've got to bear in mind also so I can get this one way, not the other. It's not coming up with anything on the... There's a lot of wire and stuff down here as well. Obviously there's parts of houses and things. So uh, I'm going to be a little bit selective on what I dig. I haven't got my spade. It's been used for another purpose, which you'll find if you look at the um, Wednesday Live. So I'm going to crack on a bit. If I find anything, then uh, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for joining me. Well, I can't say I'm very impressed with... Uh, dry beach um, there's several bits of wire and stuff there now I just thought I'd test it out right so I'll bury something which is very important <laughs> and it's in under there but I'm not getting nothing at all not a beep nothing whatsoever and I'll get my pin pointer out and it's there right and it's the house key. Now why the hell doesn't that pick it up? So wet beach for me is a real waste of time. Sorry, dry beach. You know, if you can't find that, it's ridiculous. Um, maybe I'll just flick it onto wet beach. Maybe we've got wet underneath. Maybe that'll make a difference. I don't know. I've not used it before. So wet beach. Right, look, there you go. Not a dicky bird. Not a dicky bird. Okay, let's forget about the beach. Obviously, Dias is not a beach detector. Let's just go with uh, I don't know. Dias fast. That's not picking it up either. Um, Okay, let's go for hot. Surely hot will do it. Right, number nine, hot. Stock hot. Okay, he's giving me a signal. It's not giving me a number at all, but it's a signal. Okay, right, what else can we try? Let's try, let's go pitch, shall we? Pitch. Oh, Troy Gary's pitch 101. Okay, there is 
a, a tone there, so that picks up a dry beach, does not sense that key. Okay, that's not gold or silver, but you'd have thought they'd give me some sort of idea, wouldn't you? Um, that's hot. Let's try bog standard pitch, number four, stock pitch. Mm. Oh, overall, the dias is not fantastic on the beach, is it? So you wouldn't come out here with your beach uh, head on because uh, you're not going to you're not going to do much. So let's go basic. No, we'll have to revert back to something. Yeah, I'm going to stick with pitch 101. Don't like it. Excuse me, Gary, for saying that, but we'll go for that. Just for the fact it actually tells you something is there. If you go onto dry beach or wet beach, the dias goes completely dumb. Right, first, well, not first target. I've been digging up rubbish and rubbish, and uh, there's no difference here, it's still rubbish. Uh, I'm getting signals, more reliable signals on pitch 101 than I ever was on um, dry or wet beach but it's uh, it's just rubbish because uh, there's so much of people's houses and stuff down there so I'm not really hopeful about finding a heck of a lot but hey ho we'll just carry on you never know all right tide's starting to come in again now and uh, I'm on wet beach because I'm on a wet beach now I freely admit that a, I don't like beach detecting and be probably not tweak the program enough but out of the box wet beach dry beach doesn't work for me um, you know I've found yes I found temp peg uh, wire electrical cable uh, from the houses and stuff like that um, oh sweet wrappers and things like nothing major but I mean wet beach you constantly get this little tinkle then when you find when it if you go over something it's just nothing look I mean how is it supposed to work when it can't detect the you know key <laughs> so I'm just gonna head back now and wrap this up I've been using Gary's ultimate which seems to um, be the best out of all the programs on, I've got on the dice at the moment they actually picked up that sweet wrapper with about four inches down so I'm gonna stick with that it doesn't like wet beach uh, the ultimate so I'm going to head back to the dry stuff go back to Gary's ultimate see what we can find and then wrap up right seems nothing has popped up really of um, 91 so these, these signals seem to go on forever you know <laughs> It's got the faint oomph with it, but I'm on the edge of dry and wet, so. <laughs> no, I'm not going to bother. You know, signal goes on for about three feet. Well, that was um, <clears throat> gigantic waste of time, really. Okay, I'll admit I've probably not got the right program for it, but uh, it's so contaminated with stuff, I thought. Well, make the best of a bad job, and we'll have a look at this stuff here. Look at that, look. lovely, lovely clothes. Today's been the exception. We've been in the sea two or three times a day, and that was just a little bit uh, too much for us, really. Uh, so there you go. It's uh, it's warm. You know, it's well, it's nice warm, it's not uh, OMG, it's cold. Fantastic, fantastic coastline. Already you can hear me above the waves. Just about seven, half past. There's uh, a couple of seals bobbing ahead up now and again when we're out there. So, 
sorry about the uh, lack of anything. Uh, you know, all credit to people who do beach detecting. Uh, for me, it's not something I really want to do. But again, maybe the Dias is not a beach detector. So feel free to tell me A, where I went wrong, B, what sort of equipment you need for beach detecting. Just out of interest. So thanks for coming with me and joining me on our polybobs. We are at Overstrand in Norfolk. And uh, to get home, it's up that hill, what that cliff. Uh, you won't see it, but there's a, a, a bench up there where you can sit and look over the sea. So I highly recommend Overstrand to anybody. Fancy a nice break. So thanks again, uh, I'll get back to base and I'll wrap it up, but uh, thanks for coming with me and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, right, nice set of steps over there, unfortunately can't use them. So, <coughs> up here again, I'll just film it in case I fall, could be exciting couldn't it? It's better getting up apparently as you're leaning forward but you know well, in theory I suppose you shouldn't be doing this but this was terribly terribly dangerous and not safe to do mind you gives you good legs a good workout and my top tip for doing this is don't do it in flip-flops. That's a very good tip. Ah. There's a flip-flop there, look. That's the last person who fell down that crack. I never did find him. Just one solitary flip-flop. Oh yeah. Right, so this is the bottom of the whew, reasonably easy bit. Ooh, excuse me for puffing and panting, but obviously totally out of shape. pair of bellows. Oh, you got a base camp. Whew. Well, that was something else, wasn't it, really? <laughs> Not a fan of beach detecting. Wet and dry dire settings. There's a lot of uh, phantom signals. And if you've got a half-decent one that just went on forever, I think would give the beach detecting lark a miss. But anyway, it's a very nice place to come. Fully recommend Overstrand. It's about half, half eight at the moment. And we normally get a really, really, really good sunset over there. Anyway, thanks for joining me. It's, a, it's an adventure of sorts. Uh, I had a paddle. And can't believe what we saw the other day. Really, really close to seals. So what uh, have I learned about beach detecting? Well, apart from I don't like it, I can I ask you a question? Do you beach detect? If you do, what machine do you use? And if you use a dais for beach detecting, what settings do you use? Do you use stock settings? Have you got a beach detecting favorite? Comment below, let us know. I'll leave you for now. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Just pan around to this, not quite here yet, sunset. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the next video.